okay this is a quick video hopefully it'll be quick to show you how to get up and running with the PodPress podcasting plugin for WordPress um, this basically allows you to record uh, something in an mp3 file format and then add it to your blog which can be very useful basically it gives your uh, visitors to your blog a different way of experiencing your blog so they can listen to your post instead of having to read it so it's quite cool now the other point about it is it can get you some extra traffic and some extra backlinks by submitting it to the uh, different podcast directory such as iTunes um, and the PodPress plugin does a lot of that for you automatically because it links into iTunes so it's very useful anything that's automated we always like this video will be posted on blogtactics.com uh, and you can go there and find a whole bunch of videos about how to set up different things on your blog and how to optimize it um, now the first thing you need to do is to record an mp3 file uh, you can do this with some free software called what's it called uh, it's called audacity a u d a c i t y now if you go to sourceforge.net that's s o u r c e f o r g e .net and do a search for Audacity uh, you'll find it's a free download so it's free to use so you can install that on your PC and just plug in a microphone talk away for a couple of minutes or five minutes or however long you want to and you've then got uh, an mp3 file which you can upload once you've got PodPress installed on your blog okay the blog I'm going to install it on is a new blog I've set up mattgarrett.com it's actually a very old domain but uh, I wasn't using it so I thought I'd get it up, set up as a uh, a new blog. Um, the first thing you need to do is FTP the software from your local hard disk up to the WP content uploads folder. Okay, so here's the folder, and all I need to do is take this, drag it, and drop it into here. You can see I've already uploaded it. Drag it and drop it into there using the FTP software. If you don't have any FTP software or you don't know how to use it, go to mat4.com. Uh, there's a link to get some for free and a video to show you how to use it so mat4.com uh, and just go to the videos page okay so I'm not going to cover that in detail let's go back to the site and I'm already logged on once you've uploaded the plugin you need to go to the plugins and activate it it's called PodPress so just find it in the list and activate it there's a few settings we need to have a quick look at the feed iTunes settings most of these are automatically de detected for you uh, so all you really need to do is put in things like the title uh, a summary for iTunes and a blog description okay so just pop those in the rest of this it's picking up for me automatically okay you may want to validate your feed make sure the feed address is correct but again it picks that up automatically uh, the other bit of settings that we need to go to oops, if I go to PodPress and choose general settings now this is the tricky bit you need to make sure you get this right when you start off with uh, the, the plugin this bit will be filled in for you this bit won't what we need to do is take this bit here and copy it and paste it into there now there's a couple of mistakes here first of all there's two forward slashes there there should only be one so I'll just delete one of those secondly there's a space at the end of there when I copied and pasted it there shouldn't be we need to get rid of that I won't just yet because I want to show you what that causes okay um, let's just update the settings here I'll just take a second or two to update there we go and we can then go back and write a post uh, to check that the uh, pod PodPress plugin is working correctly. Because I've uploaded that MP3 file, I should be able to access it for the post. Once this comes up, my internet connection is slow. Yeah, my internet connection is definitely slow today. Okay, the post screen has come up, and if we scroll down, we have a new box here, a new option for podcasting. Obviously, if that's not expanded, just click on the plus that will appear here. And we then need to click on Add Media File. Now that mistake that I deliberately made where we had a space at the end of the URL means that this bit isn't working correctly. Okay, There should be uh, a drop down list of the uploaded mp3 files appearing here. Okay, That's why I did that to show you one of the potential problems. That's the only problem I've actually come across when installing PodPress so far. So let's actually go back to the PodPress settings 
and what I'll do is I'll scroll to the end and just take out that spare space. I'll put another forward slash in at the end as well. Um, I've also uh, opted for the stats to be switched on. If you do that and you get a warning message about the HT access file needing to be edited or writable, uh, you will need to do that. That's a separate video. If it's not already up uploaded, that will be done within the next few days to show you how to make changes to your HT access file. It's not very difficult. It really is not. Okay, so that's the other bit we need to do. Uh, you also may get a warning when you come in here saying your theme is not compatible. If you get that message, then you need to try a different theme, uh, a more modern theme, unless you're able to make the changes to your theme that the system will suggest to you. It's quite easy if you know your way around HTML. You can just go to the presentation theme editor uh, and edit the header and footer to put in the bit of code that's needed. Okay, The blog tactics theme that we're using here, blog tactics blue simple, uh, it's got it built in so you don't need to worry with this theme. Um, you can get that from blogtactics.com funny enough. Okay, um, So we need to make sure that all is correct. Uh, we tick the stats and it will fill in the information for us automatically and then we just need to scroll down to the bottom don't worry about the rest of the settings you can play around with these once you get used to PodPress and you know what you're doing but for the moment just update the options and once that's done we go back to write a post and now in the write a post box when we scroll down and click on add media file we now have a drop down list icon here and it lists all the mp3s that we've uploaded to that uploads folder so we can just click on it and we can put in the title if we want to so I'll just type in uh, just my new blog intro that'll do and you can add more than one podcast file here uh, if we scroll down you could add another media file um, the only other things I normally do here is auto detect the size and auto detect the duration just so that's filled in the rest of it we don't need to worry about so get on with doing the post um, and where you want the podcast to appear in the post you basically copy and paste this little bit of code here and to do that if you've got the visual editor on you need to click on the code icon here the code tab so that, that comes up and you can paste it into the code okay I'm actually going to quickly uh, copy and paste a post that I've prepared into there I'll pause the video for a second okay so I've basically just typed in my post there um, and you can see I'm putting the display podcast tag at the bottom of the post uh, so once I'm happy with that I can go back to the visual and just check how it looks that tag won't show up I don't think oh it does show up so you can probably paste it in there um, and all you then need to do is click on publish and as soon as that's actually published to the blog we'll go and have a look and show you what it looks like okay that's uh, posted so I'll go back to the blog and if we click on refresh we should now have a post again it may take a second or two my internet connection is slow today for some reason here we go okay so we've now got a new post um, I've also got post teaser on here so we need to click and go through to the main post we can do that from the title or from this link here and it'll bring up the full post because the podcast file is at the bottom and it comes up here we go and if I scroll down we've got the podcast here if I click on play I'm not sure how this video recording software will cope with this I've probably got the volume turned down actually let me quickly turn the volume Hi. up oh no there we go you can probably hear that running in the background I'll click on pause okay so that's how to use podcast uh, podcasting software the PodPress plugin so just record your mp3 file using audacity which is free from sourceforge.net upload the plugin activate it make those quick changes and settings and then do your post uh, with that little bit of code into the post that's all there is to it okay this video can be found on blog tactics uh, blog tactics under videos okay thanks very much